just got to New York. I'm at Laura's apartment and I obviously just showered. Get all those airplane germs off me and I'm gonna get ready for the day. I think we're getting breakfast slash lunch. It's like 10 a.m. right now. I have an appointment at 2.30, I think. And then other than that, I kinda wanna do some shopping today and get that out of my system. But I'm going to the Hamptons this weekend and in order to get to the Hamptons, you have to well, one of the ways to get there, like the most common ways, you fly into New York and then rent a car and like drive up to the Hamptons. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. But I figured like why not come into the city on Monday and stay here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then drive to the Hamptons on Thursday. So I'm here for a couple days just staying with Laura, hanging out with her, probably trying to be as helpful as I can because her baby's due like next month. But yeah, there's some context on why I'm here. When was the last time I was in New York? I think like March. Actually, no, maybe even April. So welcome to today's video. A little week in my life or a couple days of my life in New York City. The lighting in this bathroom is insane. I faked tan last night, so I feel like I look extra tan especially with these gold necklaces on. And I also need to show you my little makeup bag. I made this out of a towel that I thrifted. I found this like cute little yellow towel. And I was like, what am I gonna use that for? And I was like, wait a minute, a little makeup bag. Kind of bursting at the seams. I probably should have made it a little bit bigger knowing all of my products. But how cute is she? Here's my little outfit for walking around and doing whatever. Hope you can see me a little linen skirt from Abercrombie. I love this. I have it in black too. And I'm just wearing this little black muscle t-shirt tank top thing. My necklaces. Did my makeup, but I'm just gonna let my hair air dry because I'll probably put heat on it tonight. Maybe this would have been a better view. But now you're on the air conditioning. Let me collect my laundry. I want to wash my airport outfit so I can actually like wear it, you know? So once it's been on the airplane, it's not getting worn. Charlie. <laughs> Chuckles. I never tell you something to see you. Oh. <laughs> what? Where's her office? Uh... Damn, this looks good. Clearly this is what happens when you're with someone who's pregnant. I've split up with Laura. We had lunch and then we stopped at Press to get some soft serve. But I am en route to my sugaring appointment right now. So hopefully, I've gotten sugared one other time, got my armpits done. And supposedly sugaring is supposed to hurt less than waxing. I kind of think it's the other way around. So. I guess this will be like the true test, but I'm walking there right now, I think I have some forms to fill out, so hopefully I left enough time. But I just passed a Madewell on the way and I saw something in the windows, so maybe I'll go to Madewell after, and then I really wanna go to Zara. I had ordered a couple outfits for the Hamptons and I had sent them to ship to Laura's apartment and I just opened the package, because obviously like she didn't go through everything and she didn't know what I ordered to begin with. But when I got to her apartment, I went through everything and the dress I was most excited to wear in the Hamptons, like truly the reason that I placed the order in the first place, they sent in the wrong size. So waiting to hear back if they can maybe overnight it in the right size. Like I ordered the correct size, but like fulfillment sent the wrong one. Waiting to hear back if they can do that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna head to Zara and just see if they have anything. So it's for like a specific dinner that we're going to there. I wouldn't say I need it, but I'd really like it. Not too bad, but would you guys believe me if I said the girl that just did my Brazilian follows me on TikTok and recognized me? Needless to say, we just got a little <laughs> up close and personal, but what are the freaking odds? Like, what are the odds? Anyways, off to Zara now. I've decided against Madewell because I have one in Raleigh, so like, why would I buy something here and then like worry about packing it? My bag's already close to overweight, so like, I can just get it there. The line to try on was so long and I didn't want to wait in it. Like what I found wasn't worth waiting in that line. But my feet hurt so bad. My feet usually don't hurt in these shoes. But I'm about to go into Uniqlo and see if they have socks I can buy and change into. I found the socks, but I also found these little tanks and you're probably thinking, Claire, you own a million of these tanks. But I don't own these tanks with built-in bras. Like this is genius. I always wear little stickies when I wear these and it's like a smaller chest. It's not that flattering from the side when I just have like a little sticker on. But these like 
round you out. I'm so obsessed. I'm honestly debating getting all four colors. I like the way the small fits me. I don't think I need to size down. I had to size down a lot in the Madewell version of this tank top, but wow. Cups, genius. I'm so happy. I wish this like creamish one was like a true white. Might go out and look again. But I feel like I should definitely get the black and the gray. I'll probably skip the blue. They're kind of expensive. I mean, I guess it's the same as the Madewell ones. They're like 30 bucks. $29.90. I'm obsessed. Is there like a number that you could look up or a name? Woman ribbed cropped bra sleeveless top. I love this. Back in Laura's apartment and I'm freshening up for dinner. I came back after my little shopping and I had a meeting at 5 o'clock with my tax guy. And now, well, then I do a little bit more stuff on the computer. But now I'm trying to piece together an outfit for like a dinner with a friend from college that I see every so often when I come to the city. But I didn't really bring any like good casual-esque dinner options, like dinner outfits. I just have like balls to the wall dinner options, like dress and heels. And then I have day clothes. And that, what was I thinking when I packed, quite honestly? I'm gonna have to wash everything before I leave here. I'm gonna have no like somewhat casual clothes to wear in the Hamptons, it's okay. But I think this is what I've landed on. Black linen skirt and then that little bra tank top that I got today. I'm so freaking excited. I showed these to Laura when I got home and she was like, wait, no, like I'm gonna go back and get some. So watch out, get them before they're viral, folks. Makeup touch up consists of spritzing my face. This is the Totally Beauty, Totally Beauty Elixir. I love that. It's like a really good setting spray. I don't think I really understood that it could be used as that until recently. Okay, I need to stop talking. Concealer. Because I still have that full piece of makeup on from earlier. Concealer just kind of on the spots of where it's rubbed off. Oh, lip balm. I don't think I like that angle. But anyways, I'm just going to beat this concealer into my face and then I'll do a little bit more bronzer and blush and hopefully look normal. What time is it? Oh, I gotta go soon. Last minute change into a little, well I mean I didn't change the outfit but I added a sweater, put my hair in a ponytail and now I'm gonna be late. Bye Chuckles. Sorry, love you. It's Tuesday at 5 p.m. and it's been a jam-packed day so I'll catch you up on what's happened so far as I sit here in my new Ritzia set that I bought. So, woke up, got ready for the day, went to breakfast with the Super Goop influencer team. So I met the two girls that run the campaigns that I usually do with them. If you didn't know, Laura is not only one of my best friends, but she's actually my manager. So she like gets me brand deals and like pitches me to companies and like gets me involved in like campaigns and stuff like that. So while I'm in the city, she set me up some meetings with the teams that I actually work with, like the people on the back end of brand. So this morning, Charlie, what is going on? Okay, all right, okay, yep. Met the super group girls and then I went to Vivrel. Well, there was some shopping in between there, but then I went to the Vivrel showroom, which is that designer bag rental company that you've definitely heard people talk about before. So I got to go there and pick out a bag to use for the next month. I'll show you what I got, but I'm clearly busy right now. I'll show you the one that I picked out in a second. Vivrel is like a designer bag rental service you pay a monthly fee and then you get to like pick a different bag and swap out a different bag every single month i don't know what is going on here um but it's like a really good way even if you didn't want to become like a true like monthly member like it would just be good if you had like a black tie wedding to go to and you wanted to be holding like a super nice luxurious bag but like you're not gonna buy it um vibro like rent it same with if you were debating like oh you know i really want this louis vuitton bag but i wonder how much i'll wear it rent it for a month or two and just like see how much you wear it you know i got a fun little colorful bag compared to the bags that i packed i packed a tan bag and i packed a black bag so i got a fun little colorful blue bag that i'm gonna bring to the hamptons and then i think i'm also gonna go to dc in a couple weeks so i'll bring that there and like plan some fun little outfits around it but i also have a black tie wedding in september so i'm definitely gonna have like my september rental be like a fun like chanel clutch or something 
to go with that because I don't really have any black tie handbag situations. After Vibrel, I got lunch with the Free People Influencer Girls, Sally and Kate. We went to Maman. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I got the best salad of my life. That was such a good salad. And then shopped around a little bit. And now I'm back here in my set that is actually debatably clean because of Charlie. I'll give you a little haul of the stuff I bought while I was shopping. I told myself I wasn't gonna shop. But Aritzia always gets me because I used to have an Aritzia when I lived near DC, but now I don't have like any Aritzia. Like this is the pretty much the only one I can shop at and I don't like ordering from them because their returns are so bad. So I wanted to go in and then of course I bought like, I didn't buy like any actual daytime clothing i got all loungewear but i mean i guess i could wear this during the day i didn't really have a good white t-shirt chucky laura showering so i'll try not to expose her also from Maritzia, yeah, i got this pair of white sweat shorts um i haven't tried these on praying they fit but i got this little pair of gray biker shorts does do those not look so comfortable i got this so excited about this little waffle weave half zip well no it's not a half zip but it's like cropped sweatshirt and then these were on sale and i thought the color was fun again hopefully they fit they do look a little long for my liking when it comes to bike shorts maybe i should have read closer i don't know it says cheeky how can something have a seven inch inseam and still be cheeky i don't know we'll find out so that's what i got from aritzia plus the stuff i'm wearing let me get my other goodies out i oh i went to gore for jana <laughs> goriana I don't know, that jewelry place. And I wanted some rings to balance out this one. I've been wearing this one every single day because it's gold. I've been wearing that for like a couple months and I love the feeling of just always having rings on. I got some permanent bracelets a couple of months ago. Love those too. So today, to balance out those two, I got this black permanent bracelet from Catbird. Love that. And then to kind of bring some silver into my jewelry stack, I got these, this new camera does not want to focus. I got these stacking rings from Goryana. I'm guessing on that pronunciation. But the three silver ones came in a set and then I bought the one gold one on its own. And I like the way they look stacked because I can separate them and wear them on different fingers if I wanted. Or they kind of give the illusion of like a thicker band if I wear them all at once. So I love that now I have like a little bit of silver in my everyday stack. I would love to get a silver permanent bracelet for this hand too, or this arm too. These permanent bracelets are from Air, H-E-I-R in Raleigh. I love, 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 love her stuff. And it's very affordably priced compared to the Catbird one. So if you're in Raleigh and you want permanent jewelry, then definitely go to her. I might actually go to her and see if she has something silver for this wrist. All right, now onto the main event. Let me show you what the what the rental is drum roll please very anticlimactic come on i got a little blue kind of looks like brown right now but it's like a blue jody bottega i think it's called the jody this is like the iconic one that like everyone has little baby and i'm so excited because i feel like this is like a fun little summer bag i can wear i literally said colorful and this is probably the most muted like boring color they have but for me it's colorful because i have like a bunch of neutrals can't get it unzipped with one hand but it fits a good amount like it fits everything i fit in here and more i feel like this is a good way to test out if i would actually wear this style i know they have like a really big one that goes like fully over your shoulder and it's more of a tote maybe i'll rent that one next but this is such a good way to kind of gauge whether or not you're gonna wear something enough to like justify owning owning it and i get to keep this for a month and then i'll send it back to them and i'll like it to exchange it out and stuff or i guess you could just continue keeping the same bag month after month this is the one i chose oh there's like a better picture of the color isn't that beautiful we just got italian food for dinner i feel like when you're in new york city you have to uber eat stuff how are you? Good. Good. So nice to see you. How are you doing? So nice to meet you. I'm so excited about this. I'm gonna ask kind of what you're just from. We just took a call with Laura and it's Wednesday morning now. I booked a solid core class. I haven't taken a solid core class since I lived in Arlington, so I'm very excited. Grabbing my workout set. This is where my luggage has been. The whole time I'm here, it's just like in the hallway. Let me close that. My air tag is like beeping. Let me change into this and then run to the solid core class. I'm so excited. Wearing this green Lululemon set that I got actually at my core power studio in Raleigh. I love it. I feel like 
lately the leggings from lululemon whenever i try in like a recent style i have a ton that i've owned for years but whenever i try in a recent style of them they just like don't fit the way they used to i don't know but these are like super high-waisted love these they're probably the aligns i don't know what they are since i got them like not at lululemon but also wearing my little Lululemon slides. I love wearing these, especially for workout classes where like you don't have to wear shoes to begin with. Little sweater tied around, even though I'm probably not gonna need that, but it adds it adds to the outfit. In my little bag, I have a pair of socks. Cause I can't, they didn't make me wear sticky socks in solid court in Arlington, but maybe they do here. So I'm just bringing it just in case. I have a little snack bar and then I have a pre-workout pack these are great for travel too if you plan on working out while you travel i get them at sprouts i like this brand but i don't think i would buy like a full size of it bye charlie see you later oh my gosh i just died compared to my raleigh pilates studio because that's mega former too so it's kind of like the same type of pilates Solid core is just harder because they stay in like the same position for so long. I feel like my attention span is so short when they do it like that. Ooh, maybe I'll get a coffee. Hopped back to Laura's to eat lunch and grab this return because I have to return some shorts I got at Aritzia yesterday that I'm not thrilled the way they fit. But I'm going to the Anine Bing sample sale and I'm gonna take the train According to Laura, I'm taking the queue downtown. I need to sound like I know what I'm doing, but they're having like an in-person sample sale and you know I love a deal, so I have to go. Oh, I should probably address the fact that yes, I am leaving like this, but it's because I don't want to have acne this weekend and I feel like I don't care. I don't live here. Does really know what's going on? That sample sale was like the seventh circle of hell. It was like so picked over and so hot and you had to like check your bag. I didn't like doing because like I wouldn't have brought like a nice bag with me, you know, but didn't find anything I guess it's still good. I went though because I would have always been like wondering like what I could have found But the answer was nothing But I did get a dress to wear tonight and I had to find like a certain undergarment to wear under a dress this weekend And I got that so and I did my return. So it was a successful Little afternoon even if I didn't find anything at the sale <laughs> Back at Laura's, back in Laura's bathroom more specifically. Just did my hair and makeup, put on this little dress that I got at Zara today and we're gonna go out to dinner. I'm gonna see my internet friend, Sierra, that I've never met in person. <laughs> She's gonna come to dinner with us and then Laura and I are going to a Brooklinen event actually, which I'm really excited about because I love Brooklinen. This is actually, What's on the bump? This is Hatch Maternity. Really? Yeah, isn't it so cute? Yeah, I really like that. I think maternity people like just up their game. I feel like you could wear, maybe not, I don't know. No, you definitely could wear this yeah. after. That's your right. And just a quick. Can I just hold this <laughs> I'm back from my Brooklyn event, wearing my new Brooklyn and robe, and I'm ready for bed. I totally forgot about the spray tan that I scheduled and I missed that so whoops I think I'm gonna buy like a self tanner in the morning and just like slap a layer on and like wear it while I drive to the Hamptons but my skin has not been loving New York City I posted about it on my Instagram story actually I posted like <laughs> well first I posted a selfie with like this side of my face and then I was like wait a minute that makes it look like my skin looks really good right now so I posted a second one and I said, don't be fooled if this is what the rest of my face looks like. Anyways, I had a friend from college swipe up on my story and say that I needed to get the Midnight Recovery Concentrate from Kiehl's and I almost stopped at Sephora. And then I was like, no, just like stick to the products you have, whatever. But then I opened Laura's Medicine Cabinet and of course that was sitting right there. So I'm trying it. Thanks, Laura. You're so welcome. Me getting you skincare? What is... The world is upside down. This is what Laura has <laughs> for tanning. This one says 10 minute tan. Do we really believe that there's a 10 minute tan? I'm gonna have to read the reviews on this and see. Oh my gosh, it's so humid today. I'm marinating in a layer of that self tan. Ideally, I'd keep it on. Wait, why does that like, why does it look so pale? Hmm. Did I forget that part of my leg? I guess we'll find out. Anyways, I'd love to leave this on for two to three hours, but I think I'm gonna, only gonna be able to have it on for like an hour. What time is it? 8.30, but I have most of my stuff packed up. 
This is what I'm gonna wear to drive there. Kind of bold to choose a white dress right after washing out self tan, but that's what I'm doing. And there's probably laundry at the house, so I'm gonna do laundry before I leave leave. Speaking of laundry, I have a load of laundry in actually at Laura's right now. So that'll be done. And then I'll pack that stuff. I have to run to Staples and get something that I printed. I made little drink menus for the weekend. I was put in charge of the cocktails, so you know I had to make a little menu. I think I just need to do that laundry. I'll go to Staples, shower, get myself ready, and then head to go pick up my car. I'm picking up the car from a garage in Chelsea, and then I'm driving to pick up Adam, and then we're gonna go to Wegmans, and we're gonna go to Costco on the way up to the Hamptons house. So. I'm kind of debating if I want to like end this vlog and kind of do like a New York City, a couple days in New York City vlog and then like Hamptons weekend vlog. It's two very different vibes of trips and I feel like they should be split. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go to Staples, pick that up, pack up, and then go get the car. So if you wanna see my Hamptons video, stay tuned or go watch that right now. But yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna see like pictures and stuff from the trips.